Hi, I'm Chris Okrissey, and I'm with the information website smartirrigation.com. Today, we're going to show you how to set a Rainbird rotor. So obviously needs setting. Okay, we're here to set the, the Rainbird 5000, or the Rainbird, a Rainbird rotor. These are left stop, which means the left stop is constant and the tool sets the right stop where it goes to the right. The left stop is too far to the left. So it, it's an old head, so it's not gonna have the slip clutch working anymore. You can tell by doing that gently and nope, it's not slipping. So the only way to set the left stop on a Rainbird head is to turn it in the ground or take the cartridge out, pick it up and move it in the ground. So today we're gonna try turning it in the ground. So to be able to turn the rotor in the ground, you have to be able to get onto the base. So you clean out any sod that is covering the base. You want to be able to get onto that base. Never put your uh, pliers on the turret because that'll scratch it. So we're going to turn the head in the ground, or try to. If it's too tight, you won't be able to do it that way, and then you'll have to just remove the inside cartridge and pick it up and turn it in the ground that way. Looks like I am in luck. It is turning. I'm just going to bring it over there a little bit. I'm not forcing the gears in any way. Just finger, finger pressure. So that, that's pretty much it on the left stop. I got her. Just checking it again. Go all the way to the right and let it click and then you can move to the left to speed it up to get to there. Okay, now that we've set the left stop, the right stop can be set with the key using the plus or minus on the head on this uh, adjustment. So clockwise increases the arc and counterclockwise decreases the arc. And it actually has an indicator to show you that. We want to decrease the arc because we're going too far over and we're hitting the aluminum stairs here as you can hear. So I'm going to go counterclockwise a little bit. I can speed that up gently, my fingers to the stop and then a little bit to the right. So I've got to go a little bit more. So a little more counterclockwise, and if I go too far, I can just go clockwise to increase the arc. Which will make it go more to the right. This is the best way to check it when it's windy. If you're just looking at the stream close by, you'll be able to set it more accurately than if you're looking at the end, because the wind will affect that. And that's bang on. Thank you for watching. And if you liked our video, please hit like and subscribe. And for more smart irrigation tips, you can check our website out at smartirrigation.com.